What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I picked this up on a whim last month. It Cosmetics was doing a friends and family 25% off sale. And I had to get another one of my Your Skin But Better CC Creams. I love this stuff. I needed another one and it was on sale and I was like this is perfect. So I bought another one. I currently have two backups in two different colors. That's how much I love this stuff. So I was in the market, kind of in the market for a new powder. I've been using the Rimmel Stay Matte for years now. I like this, but I just wanted to try other things. I haven't really heard too many things about this. Before I bought it, I did do a little like research review sesh, you know, thing. And I haven't, like, there was a couple people talking about it, but not so many. I did hear Kathleen Lights mention it once in her favorites videos. And you know, I'll buy anything she says. Like, come on now. So, we do have similar skin types. She's dry. I am also dry. I would say I'm normal to dry skin. And I do have large pores, so I figured why not give this a shot. A little bit more info on my skin. I would say I have normal to dry skin dry areas on my skin or between my eyebrows my nose is super dry around my nose and then like around my mouth area and then the rest of my face i would just say is normal i do have large pores it sucks why just why i have large pores around my nose and then i have like moderate sized pores on the sides of my nose and then on my chin so I figured this would be perfect for me. So a little bit of info on this product now. This is the Airbrush Silk Press Anti-Aging Finishing Powder with anti-aging peptides, collagen, silk, and antioxidants. Did I say that right? Oxidants? Whatever. Plus optical blurring drops of light technology. So this powder is supposed to blur your pores like any imperfections you have on your face basically. It says it will make your pores disappear. This powder is completely buildable and can be applied throughout the day, on the go, touch-ups and wonderful doubles as blotting powder also. Can be worn on bare skin or over makeup on finishing touches. Okay, so this is what the actual product looks like. Open it up. And this is what you get. You get a big old mirror. The product in here, excuse my nail mark that I just always happen to make. And then you get this little section, little, I don't mean little, this is a huge section. You get this section down here with a sponge that I'll probably never ever use. And you get this big old empty section, which is probably 75% of the packaging is this bottom section that's useless. My number one hate with this product is this big old section down there. And then secondly, you got the product. Obviously, I don't like how it fully, it doesn't close fully. If you notice that, like it doesn't, it doesn't connect when it goes down. It's always gonna be up a little bit, which is annoying. Then you got the product. The product is very smooth. And it's translucent, which I feel like it's not completely translucent. You do get a little bit of like a white cast just because with all the imperfections on your face, I feel like there's always gonna be a little bit of the residue that shows. Um, on my skin, it looks really, really, really nice. You can like barely see any like the little hairs I have or any marks like that. You probably can't see it, but it does, it does blur. This product does blur, which I like. I'm on the fence with it still. There is certain areas in my face I do like it on and certain areas I don't, which is, it sucks. The areas I do like it on are underneath my eyes. It does a really good job of blurring the fine lines I have. And I also like it, you know, on the sides of my nose, it does cover up those pores. And on the rest, the rest of my face, it looks pretty nice. The one thing I wanted to use this for was my nose because I have large pores on my nose and I just, I just can't use this because it really emphasizes my dry skin on my nose, which sucks because I have my largest pores on my nose and this is what I bought it for basically. Um, I can't, I have to use like the, the tiniest amount of product on my nose before it actually starts looking horrible basically before you start seeing my dry skin, before you start seeing my foundation, before you start seeing this product. It just clunks up right there if I put just a little bit too much on there which I can't put a little bit, I can't put that much in general. 
so I can't really use this on my nose without it accentuating my dry area which if you have dry skin I don't think you're gonna like this because it is gonna pick up all that dry skin and you're just gonna be able to see it right on your face which isn't cute which defeats the purpose of blurring so I don't think this is the best product for dry skin if you have normal to oily skin I think you would really like this just because it does it does blur what it says it, it is a blurring powder it does blur um, on my chin it looks nice around my nose and underneath I love it for underneath my eyes like it is a great you it, your eyes don't look like they have any wrinkles like whatsoever no creasing for your concealer or anything like that this will blur that away I do have normal to dry skin so on the areas that my face are normal I do like this powder it sucks though because I wanted it for my nose my big old pores on my nose and I can't use it for that which sucks so if you have dry skin I don't recommend this for you I don't think you're gonna like it it's gonna accentuate all your dry areas and just make it look even more dry more dry it's gonna look drier my rating 1 to a 10 I would probably give this a 5 just because I can't use it on the areas that I have my most pores on um, just because it's my skin type, my dry skin, it doesn't really work best for that. I will continue to use it still just because I bought it, it was on sale, I might as well, like it's a good product, I just can't use it on my nose. So I will continue to use it underneath my eyes and around my face and everything but my nose. So I will still keep it, I will still use it. So yeah, that's my review on the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Press Pores, Pores, Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this was helpful for anyone who was in the market looking for this because when I was doing reviews for it, there wasn't too many people doing reviews on it. I didn't really know much about it. I saw like one or two reviews that says it was good and I was like, fuck it, I'll buy it. But I wish I knew a little bit more about it. So I hope this helped anyone who was looking for this or any powders in general. Maybe this, you know, helped make your decision on buying it or not or buying another powder. Um... But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm really not this pale, like, I apologize if I'm coming off ghostly. Okay. Okay. Can you come up here? It's the wrong side. Wrong side. It's translucent translucent but on dry areas it accentuates it's this does blur certain things but in certain areas like dry areas it accentuates accentuates why can't I say this word skin it just it just incentive it just I can't say it <laughs> okay 17th time's a charm right no, I'm kidding. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Um, this is, it's airbrush silk pressed anti-aiding, aiding, aiding, no, not the word. This is airbrush silk pressed, can I talk today? No?